Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you create this distortion zoom transition using After Effects. We are going to create this transition without using any plugin or any preset. So let's jump into the video. Alright, so here we have a two different footage. Make sure you can arrange like this. So first thing we need to do is to create a new adjustment layer. For that, simply go to layer and create a new adjustment layer. And now we need to cut out our layer to 15 frame per second. For that, I just hold Alt and Shift and left arrow key. Here is the 10 frame. Now we need to hold Alt again and 5 frames again. Now move your playhead at the midpoint of your two footage and cut out your adjustment layer. So here we have a 15 frame adjustment layer right here. So now simply go to effects and search transform. Apply it to your adjustment layer. Move your playhead at the very beginning of adjustment layer. Create a scale keyframe and set its value to 100 and move your playhead at the very end like so and change the scale value to 300. Make sure you can uncheck this use composition shutter and change the shutter angle to 360. Here we have a simple zoom in effect right here. Now we need to duplicate of our adjustment layer for that just press ctrl D and here is the duplicate. Now we need to slide it little bit like so at the end of our first adjustment layer is our second adjustment layer. Now we need to make it a little bit bigger. So for that I just hold at the very end of our adjustment layer and 5 frames. Here is the 5 frames. So this adjustment layer should be 20 frames and our last adjustment layer was 15 frames per second. Now hold U for viewing your keyframes and move your keyframe at the very end like so. Move your playhead at the mid of your 2 adjustment layer. Change the scale value to 25 and now move your playhead at the very end and change the scale value to 100. As you can see, we have a black area right here. For removing, we need to add an effect which is called a motion tile. Just apply to your adjustment layer and move your motion tile in an effects control. Move it at the up to transform like so. So it will be work great. So make sure you can check this mirror edge and change the width value to 400. As you can see, we have a perfect zoom in transition right here. So to make it smooth, select your all of your keyframes, right click to your any keyframe, go to keyframe assistance and go to easy ease. So it can be uh, easy ease. Now go to graph editor. If your graph is not look like this, just right click and make sure edit speed graph is selected. Now select your keyframes and move its handle to the very right side. Now select your right keyframes and move it at the very left side. So your graph will be look like this and here is the results. Yeah, it looks really smooth. Before proceeding further with this video, I just want to take a minute and tell you guys about Epidemic Sound, the sponsor of today's video. If you are looking for some high quality music and sound effects for your videos on YouTube or for your client project, Epidemic Sound is a great option for you. They are providing more than 35,000 soundtracks with over 170 categories. That's really huge. With Epidemic Sound, you can filter your genre, subgenre, and even the mode to exactly pin out what you are looking for and the best part of it if you click on any one of this you can always click on find similar icon next to the track and it will give you more similar tracks that you will like more than that now you can check it out all of my favorite tracks that i personally like or the tracks that i ever used in my videos with the link in the description below and also if you sign up with my link you will receive a free one month trial so I hope you will get the best music for your videos. Now we need to create a new adjustment layer. So for that simply go to layer, create a new adjustment layer and make sure you can cut out your new adjustment layer to the size of your last adjustment layer. So your new adjustment layer just look like this. It will cover your last adjustment layer like so. Now we need to add one more effect that calls a optics compensation. 
added to your new adjustment layer, go to effects control and make sure this reverse lens distortion is selected. Now move your playhead at the very beginning of adjustment layer, create a new keyframe of field of view and set its value to 0. Now move your playhead at the very mid like so and change this field of view value to 160. Move your playhead at the very end and change this field value to 0 and here is the results. Yeah, it looks really smooth. As you can see, we have a distortion right here. So now select your adjustment layer, hit U, and here we have a keyframe. Select your keyframe, go to Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease. Here is the mid frame that we need to change. Just move this handle to the very left side, just like so. So your graph will be look like this and it will be very smooth. Yeah, it looks really good. Now we need to add some more effects to finalize it. Just duplicate your adjustment layer for that. Control D as a duplicate of your latest adjustment layer. Now make sure you can delete this optics compensation from your latest adjustment layer. Now we need to add more effects. So the first effect we need to add is motion tile, tint, and the last one we need to add is emboss. And here we need to change its mode to hard light and maybe you can see the difference between it. Now just go to effects control and make sure you can select this mirror edge. Now go to tint and change this black to red like so and change this white to bright blue like so. And now at the end we have a emboss right here. So we need to change the angle to 180. And at the last, we need to create a relief keyframe. So for that, I just move my playhead at the very beginning like so. Create a relief keyframe, change its value to 0 and move it at the very beginning and change its value to 10. And as you can see, we have a RGB split effect right here. Now move your playhead at the very end to end this effect and change its relief value to 0. Yeah, it looks good. We need to make it more smoother. So for that, I just hit U, select all the keyframes and now go to Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease. Go to Graph, select these keyframes and move this handle to the very right side, just like so. Now select your left keyframes and move it at the very right side. So your graph will be look like this. Here we have a peak right here and here is the final results. So yeah, that's how you can create a smooth distortion zoom transition using Adobe After Effects without using any plugin or any preset. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, give me a big thumbs up and comment down below. If you need more After Effects tutorials, please do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.